Welcome to the Small Business Coffee Break, the video series where we take a few minutes to work on your business, not just in it. Today we ask Wayne Eldred of the Outliers Institute about the importance of constantly being open to learning. Wayne is the president and founder of the Outliers Institute, a nonprofit that's dedicated to helping small business owners and entrepreneurs get the practical tools and knowledge that they need in order to be successful. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get into it. I think, you know, and I think anytime you close yourself off to learning or you close yourself off to wisdom, you, you, you're basically the, the beginning of the end, right? Mm. Um, you know, one of the things um, in class that we, we teach is we go through oper operational leanness, right? And we talk about Kaizen, we talk about, you know, how to lean things out, we talk about uh, the different the different aspects of Six Sigma, and most 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 students and which most of our students are business owners, they're always mind blown because they're not exposed to these things, and the average person in a leadership or management position in America has never been formally trained for those positions. Mm. Right? They're usually just you're not getting it at college, right? And they're not seeking it. So. And it costs this country billions and billions of dollars in mistakes because they're not being mentored. Mm. You know, so for example, uh, let's take for example, you know, Alex, in your insurance company, your best salesperson who kills it every single, every single year. And you know, like some of the common mistakes that people make is like, oh, you know, that person does such a good job of sales. Let's make them the boss. And it happens all the time, right? We've seen it all the time. Mm -hmm. And so you take the person who may be tired of sales, but that doesn't qualify that person to be the next boss, the next leader, right? Because their skill sets are different. And then you pull that person, you put them in there, and they run the show very differently, and they cause a lot of issues. I mean, yeah. On a weekly basis, because of my exposure to the amount of people that I talk to, I hear complaints all the time about bosses and managers, all the time. Um, and and really, what it boils down to, you know, when when you when you synthesize everything, it boils down to the two things that destroy the relationships: is ego, pride, and lack of education. And the lack of education is not college. It's you got to nerd out on everything that you need to be passionate about, right? So right. if it's insurance, be the best at insurance. If you're going to be a chef, work on nerding out of being the best at chef, whether it's just cooking a steak. I'm the best at cooking that steak. Right. Right? I, I'm a big believer that, you, and I'm a big nerd when it comes to that stuff, right? <laughs> I, I watch documentaries. I expose myself to as many learning opportunities. And, and you've got to be careful because if you expose yourself too much and you don't know how to clarify the thoughts and synthesize the information, it's just chaos. Let's keep the conversation going. If you have any questions for Wayne, ask him in the comments or I put his contact information in the description. If you have any questions you'd like me to ask Wayne or any other professional in their field, my contact information is also in the description and I'm always open to direct messages. See you next week for another cup of coffee and more questions answered.